what's going on y'all welcome back to my world it's world pass here with another reaction for you guys today we are going to be getting right into elusive samurai now i was gonna react to the first episode but i was a little late to the train so i figured i'd just react to the next episode which just released either today or yesterday i believe it was yesterday but i'm gonna you know i was already behind i decided to watch the first one with my boy jez shout out jez and you know shout out to him for putting me on because i loved the first episode a lot um i was wondering if i would like if y'all would mess with an elusive samurai reaction i even asked on twitter i was like yo is this worth watching reacting to nobody answered but at least jez you know even though it was late he was like yo you you should watch this so so shout out to him because it looked fire uh i was intrigued because the animation looked really really good um but jez was the one who was like you know let's let's watch it together see how you feel about it and now i'm here doing a episode two reaction so we're here uh love the story i please get into it because it, it looks like one of the ones uh, for this for this season like like headlining like for me it's wistoria and elusive samurai right now like completely um and you know it's because the it, it wastes no time uh you get a lot of like lovable characters for the first half of the first episode and then it all just kind of flips flips on its head you get the plot line the plot line starts to see through a little bit and you get the the motivations you know you get a lot of the setups for what's going to happen in the story uh you even get a little future of fortune telling you know what's gonna happen in the future but uh we're here to watch everything between now and what's gonna happen later down the line so uh lots of, you know it, it went from slice of life to to gory and and graphic real quick and then real bleak like hey you know it, i love i love when an anime starts like that that's that's one really like for sure way to hook somebody is to just immediately make something go <laughs> the opposite of what it presented to you so um, I'm here to watch. Uh, animation looks go gorgeous. Uh, I really like the main character uh, move set. Uh, main characters. I really like uh, the the fake priest too. Um, and I'm here to watch because there was a crazy betrayal in episode one. Yeah, yeah, already, already, right? Like I was looking at him like, oh, he looked kind of cool, and you know, hey, go watch episode one if you haven't, so I don't spoil. But you know, we here with episode two. Let's get right into the reaction. Oh, we're getting different characters already? Okay. Kunitoki. Oh, who the- Oh, I'd be still scared. Look at his face. Shouldn't know our faces. So we're gonna... He's gonna die, for sure. Ojo, okay. That's the family that helped out, uh the the main character little sister's child did he sell him out oh my gosh he sold him out oh my gosh he sold the oh, hell of betrayal in this these first two episodes ew that's grimy look at this running oh the visuals in this anime are top tier this is insane. Oh, hold on. I might need to get this dude out of here. Get this dude out of here. Get the hell away from me, bro. Stop, Miss Fancy Creep. Oh, hell no. Nah. He just turns it off what oh nah he's insane yeah yeah that's also crazy hella betrayal just happened last episode insane あの、私の目には、あなた様が英雄になられるところが見えておりますので。ですから時行き様、今しばしの間はご辛抱を。Oh <笑> Oh, 
Is that the dad or the the mom? Brother, please save him, please. Oh my gosh. Brutal warlords? Is this accurate? Historically? <gasps> no, he did die. Wow. That was one of my questions last episode, too. I was like, did the brother die? Whoa! Was that foreshad- That scene in the first episode was foreshadowing this. It all makes sense now. It all makes sense now. That's crazy. Ooh, no way that's the uncle. Oh, that is the uncle. Oh, wow, that's crazy. He's so grimy for that. That's a kid, bro. Actual demonic behavior. <laughs> Girl. What? That is actually scary. Just to know your enemy. What is this? Oh my god! <laughs> Yo, this is stupid! <laughs> this is funny! Beautiful. Whoa, this looks crazy. Oh, this is so nice. I love the style. Oh, hell nah, bro. Good freaking move. Good move! He's seen it coming though. Dang! Oh, this fighting is gonna be sick. Bro, you got, you got biceps under there. Damn. Whoa! Bro, please body him. Yo, this is kind of fire. The de demon representation. Ways. He really is a demon for what he did to his brother. Oh, damn. Look at the action. Let's go. He's strong as hell, for real. Mighty. Nasty. That's not even adaptability, that's scum, scumminess. Snake skin. Bro, he couldn't have. Oh my gosh, this is a crazy representation. A whole board game. Oh, let's go. Okay, we we. Does he feel it? He in sync. You like? Oh, you can't touch me. Okay. Damn, damn. Look at the art change. Yo, please watch this. This is beautiful. 
Elusiveness. Yeah. He enjoys the chase. Right? Okay. Aw, oh, they real ones. <laughs> oh, I like her. I like her. She might be one of my favorites. Okay, kicked up the dirt. Get that out of the way. Just to give him an opening. Okay, damn. Block. Mmm, the sword came back down. Peace. Avenge them. It's not for the brother. The brother! <laughs> Got him. Oh, let's go. Let's go, man. Oh, not the callback. Man, that's, I didn't want his brother to die this early. Elusive Samurai. I'm kind of mad I got onto it late because I kind of wanted to give y'all the first episode reaction. But at least y'all can get this one. This one was just as good. Uh, lots of plot lines that happened. Uh, lots of referencing the first episode. But um, the art style changes were the highlight for me. Um, plot wise, I really just do love how um, the, the, the fake shaman guy is kind of like trying to be able to teach um tokiyuki how to how to navigate his enemies uh because obviously he runs away from them a lot but he's kind of like look you want to know your enemy so that you can eventually fight them and it leads up to the defeat of his uncle who had betrayed them by killing his brother selling his brother out uh very unfortunate they did reference the first episode when the head fell that was kind of foreshadowing this moment where his brother dies um i don't is he is he dead for real though because he kind of just only got word of mouth i mean i know we saw it but we saw it like based on the word of mouth i don't know i just really don't want the brother to be dead but i might just have to accept that he's dead already um but you know he avenged him he ended up avenging him with the help of his new friends who were playing martial arts i love the 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 comedy in this how it's integrated within all the action and because this plot is very serious very like you know the fall of a family very uh ancient japan like uh, feudal japan feudal japan and and warring and, and and lots of you know beheading and it's just a lot of grotesque and, and and savagery like a lot of that type of stuff going on so the comedy for sure helps it a lot uh and the charm of the characters is also really really cool i like the two new characters they implemented uh, i even like the the main three we got the fake shaman his little assistant and and tokiyuki so I, i'm really loving the character so far again the art style is amazing and I hope y'all check it out because right now, this one and Wistoria, they're both like the highlights of the season for me. So I'm very excited to watch more of those, react to more of those episodes. And we'll see uh, Tokiyuki continue his journey in the next episode next Saturday. So hopefully y'all enjoy. Make sure y'all remember to drink enough water, eat enough, get enough rest, take care of personal hygiene. Because we cannot be the best version of ourselves and spread our positive energy throughout the world while first taking care of ourselves. This is my World Pass, and I'm a peace out. Thank you.